watching Assassin's Creed. One thing you need to know about this movie, it's not gonna follow the main characters of the video game. So it's not gonna follow Desmond and the Animus. It does follow the Animus. Basically, the company of Assassin's Creed was like, hey, we're gonna make a movie and it's gonna be canon with all the games that have been made, but we're not gonna follow the traditional character. We're gonna do like a side character off over here, but it still plays an important part to the overall arc of the story. But I played enough of the game to know what I wanted to get out of the movie. And what I got out of the movie was what I wanted. I got an assassin doing hard parkour things over stuff, killing people to protect the greater good, you know, as it were. Now, Assassin's Creed's a movie that I was extremely looking forward to, being that I played the first two games. I love the storyline. When I heard they were making an Assassin's Creed movie, I got really excited. And that story should easily transcend the video game genre and go into movies without a problem, because the story is well fleshed out has interesting characters. It has something that I've never seen done before with the idea of linking the you with your ancestors. It's really cool. I thought this was gonna be fantastic. Sadly, I was mistaken. Uh, actually watching this movie was very frustrating because there was a sense of loss and I couldn't, I couldn't shake it the entire movie. It was lost potential. First, as a movie itself, I feel it had a lot of holes. This movie did not have that great of a story. The story didn't hang together very well. The characters were hard to get attached to emotionally, and I did not see a lot of depth to them. As someone who has never played Assassin's Creed, I went into this movie with expectations pretty much just on par with what I saw in the trailer. Not super high expectations. And I pretty much got what I thought I was going to get from it. This is one of the few films where the trailer is actually very, very accurate to the experience that you're going to have in the movie. A lot of action. The majority of the movie seemed to be very dusty, very dingy, kind of dark, hazy, foggy. Personally, I felt like it was a little bit of a cop-out, like, well, we couldn't have crystal clear visual effects, so let's kind of give it this haze and sheen where you really can't make out details, because if you could, you wouldn't be impressed with them. Problem, though, with the movie, I felt you have these two compelling sides. You have the Assassin and you have the Templars. Very both compelling. Both are going to say, like, we're right, we're right, you're wrong, you're wrong do that like why was it so hard just to be like hey like the whole religious aspect of it and some other like why are you kind of meh i did enjoy the costumes oh my god the assassins look super dope with their whole get-ups and the, the blades the stunt work that they did believe it or not the whole big stunt at top of the tall tower was an actual stunt that has not been done by stuntmen in over 35 years so when i found that out i was like okay this movie just got a little bit better the fact that they're actually doing some stunt work some like shit that can kill you and it shows in the movie it really does. There are some amazing scenes when the assassins are doing their thing. But when it comes to the present day, this is where the plot kind of veered into a territory where you can literally see it coming. Like you can straight up be like, that's gonna happen and that's gonna happen and that's gonna happen. And then you get basically all that happening. So that was kind of meh. It doesn't do a good job of explaining who the Templars are. It doesn't do a good job of explaining who the assassins are. You're kind of left guessing. At first I thought that was on purpose. I thought there was gonna be a twist or something, but there wasn't. There was nothing like that. They just didn't do a good job of explaining it. They didn't take time to do it. Uh, what they did explain was very half-assed. Didn't really get the point across, and that was very disappointing. That said, there were parts of the movie I enjoyed. The, it switches between modern day and 1492 during the time of the Spanish Inquisition. And the parts that took place in 1492 I actually enjoyed. They were visually very stunning. They were gritty and dark and I like that. Story-wise, it was super confusing for me, probably for at least the first 20 to 30 minutes. I was a little baffled. And it didn't really help that there's like a title card with the text that sort of gives you a brief summary of things, which I'm almost never a fan. The actors in the film are all actually really excellent. Uh, Michael Fassbender, I'm a big fan of his. He's always a favorite, and he delivers a great performance here, as does pretty much everyone else in the movie. Really great performances. And so overall, it's not the worst video game adaptation that I've ever seen, but that is faint praise. Overall, I have to give the movie a 6 out of 10. It's really not something I can recommend, just because it, I didn't find it very fun and I'm going to a movie that's an action film, I usually want fun. I do not think that this film lives up to the Assassin's Creed games as far as storyline goes. The parts that took place in modern times were just not very interesting to me and it was really hard to be sympathetic with the main character. Overall, I would give this movie a 6 just because it wasn't that great. I'm going to give this movie a 5 out of 10. This movie was very, very disappointing for me. I had high hopes going into this movie because the storyline is just right to make a movie out of it. 
is just built for it. The, the, the story has a perfect antagonist. Everything about it is great. Tons of ways they could have went with it, but for some reason they decided to make it up as they went along and just completely butchered the sword. So Assassin's Creed, entertaining? Absolutely. Does it follow what you want from the video game? For me, I would say yeah. Yeah, they kind of tweak some stuff and I can understand why for the movie I can. You don't have to have it perfect. As far as a video game movie goes, I feel this one kind of set a new standard like, hey, it can be done. You can actually take a video game property and make a decent film out of it. There were some kinks in it whatever, but it's entertaining. The costume pieces are fantastic. The sets are gorgeous. The sound was good. I like some of the editing transitions that they had with this bird, this eagle falcon thing. You watch what we know what I'm talking about. Is it enjoyable? Absolutely. Go see it. If you're curious about it, go see it. If you played an Assassin's Creed game, go see it. And then you can determine if you thought it was great or not. I'm gonna give it a seven and a half out of 10. Yeah, I enjoyed it. It was a good movie. I might own it just to, to have, just so I can watch the set pieces in the Spanish Inquisition. So yeah, so question for you this week would be, what is your favorite video game adaptation? I mean, I'm a huge fanboy of the Resident Evil movies, except the fifth one I felt was really boring. And I actually, literally every 10 minutes was like, is this thing over yet? And remember, you heard it here at The Source.